You're listening to the Vanu Podcast, the podcast making you invulnerable to the coercion of the state and the servile society. Visit our website for free resources to aid you in your pursuit of self-liberation. Old Vanu publications, podcasts, guest articles, and much more. Go to vanupodcast.com. And now, your hosts, Shane and Jason. And welcome to the Vanu Podcast, the podcast making you invulnerable to coercion. I'm Shane and... I'm Jason. This podcast is covered by a BIPCOT and a government license, which allows reuse and modification to anyone except for governments and the bludgies thereof. Learn more by visiting BIPCOT.org. So, uh, Jason, welcome back, man. Uh, yeah, good to be recording recording another podcast. Uh, how are things going? Uh, it's been a while, like a month, I guess, but... Uh just on the tail end of that holiday hangover so i'm i'm slowly improving well that's good to hear that's good to hear yeah well i'm uh i don't know this is this is this is uh i'm excited to be recording again but this is uh not just an ordinary podcast this is uh the beginning to a new series um we haven't uh haven't haven't done this since uh yeah i guess uh when when the last time we started a series yes back in may last year uh <laughs> of last year yeah yeah so um that's crazy um so yeah we got a, a a brand new series to start today so um yeah today we begin our mini series on temporary autonomous zones uh, we've discussed the concept uh, on the podcast before and it has come up in uh, episodes with uh, smuggler frank braun and uh, probably other guests as well uh tentatively this will be uh, a seven it, uh yep go ahead i was gonna say it was part of the building the second realm series also that is true. That was, and, uh, yeah, that was a mm-hmm. different, different podcast, but yes, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was, yeah. <laughs> I get, I get confused. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's same sort of content, <laughs> but technically, yes, it is. A, it was a different, different show. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a topic we've talked about, uh, quite extensively in the past. Um, but, uh, yeah, now we're going to do it, uh, formally. Uh, as, a, as, as a real series uh, here on the, on the podcast like we've done uh, for, for other topics as well. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking uh, seven or eight episodes. And uh, so, yeah, here's, uh, here's the plan. Uh, the first one, uh, which I guess would technically be um, what preceded this, uh, pre- uh, preceded this introductory episode, um, released the uh, audio version of Akeem Bay's uh, article on TAS's uh, Temporary Autonomous Zones uh, here on the podcast feed. Um, so, I, so I suppose that's not 100% necessary as a prerequisite for this, uh, for this series, but uh, recommended uh, at least. Uh, we'll obviously cover everything uh, in, in, in substantive depth. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, there was uh, there was that. There's this uh, this episode, the introduction, where we're just gonna kind of uh, lay the foundation for uh, um, yeah for the series. And uh, the next episode, which I'm really excited to finally get out, man, because I recorded this back in August. Because um, uh, yeah, we went to the uh, Midwest Peace Liberty Fest, uh, saw him there, and uh, got a copy of his book and read it. And uh, I was like, holy shit! Like when we get when we finally get to the Taz Taz series Taz series, uh, like uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get get him on for that. So I uh, went ahead and recorded that uh, quite some time ago. Uh, it's uh, finally gonna go out. So it's uh, called the Ray Visit Taz with uh, with John Vibes. So um, yeah, we covered uh, um, uh, all sorts of things, um, his crazy experiences, but more importantly. Uh, um, kind of uh, the operations of a Taz, uh, the security culture necessary, because th- there was quite a bit of that um, in his book, uh, even though it was uh, kind of styled as a fiction book. So there was a lot of good information in there on that. On, on that, so um, that will uh, will come out next week. Um, have you uh, actually, Jason? Have you had a chance to read his book yet? Uh, John's new book? Mm-hmm. No, I have yeah. not. No. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's good. Yeah, and you'll you'll get a a, a good taste of it. Uh, yeah, on this uh, next on that uh, mm-hmm. episode once released. So, right on, <clears throat> right on. So, um, and I, I I'm thinking like uh, maybe uh, the third episode, and this might be two episodes. I'm not sure. Um, haven't planned that far ahead yet. Um, but uh, building and maintaining the TAS, um, and also digital TASs. Um, so 
Um, we've talked about, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, in other podcasts, you know, uh, digital second realms and physical second realms. So there can be digital tasks as well. Um, so we'll uh, we'll certainly talk about uh, about those, and then also be yeah, setting them up, maintaining them. And uh, I, I think uh, Jason, it might be good to get Smuggler back on to talk, like I guess, really nuts oh, and definitely. bolts, nuts and bolts, kind mm -hmm. of uh, on on the uh, the mechanisms of the TAS. So mm -hmm. um, I think that might be a, an even addition, an additional episode um, to this as well. Um, now, I, I guess uh, the third or the fourth episode, whatever one that this will turn out to be, uh, you know, t the tentative uh, outline here. Uh, transport between Tazes uh, and also Vanu and Cities. So um, the Vanu and Cities portion, um, I guess uh, I, I, I think I solicited for information on, uh, or I guess solicited for, uh, um, you know, input on uh, on maybe uh, the next series. And Vanu and Cities came up. And I was like, uh, I, I guess, yeah, someone dropped uh, Vanu and Cities as, uh, as something that we need to discuss. And we do need to discuss that at some point. Um, but uh, I, I was like, holy shit, I, there's actually an application for Vanu and Cities um, for uh, for temporary autonomous zones. So, um, well, I figure we'll, talk, we'll knock those out at the same time. Um, and then the transport between Taz's section was actually an idea from Max Hillebrandt, a, 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 a previous two-time guest on this podcast. Um, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a Vanu match traveling across Europe. So um, he said, uh, yeah, you know, transport between Taz, so we got to talk about that because I think Van Nomadism could be a, a good way for that. So, yeah, man, for sure, for sure. So we're going to, we're uh, certainly gonna 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 talk about that. And uh, before we before uh, I hit record, uh, before I hit record, Jason, we were talking about this a little bit. Uh, but do you want to uh, I guess cover what uh, um, do you want to uh, comment uh, anything so far? Uh, I I mentioned my brother's brother-in-law. He lost his house to the campfire, uh, Paradise, California, last year, and um, he's been having to live in his vehicle and. Um, like he's like gets messed with like every single night almost by the police or or whoever else up there in in Northern California and like I introduced him to a little bit to Vanu and and van nomadism and like he seemed really excited so I, I hope he goes that route but uh, Vanu's in Vanu and City is just like a a specific um, podcast on that or a specific series on that I think I think it would help a lot of people because that that tends to be the majority of mm -hmm. of of the of the van nomads is is in city life, right? Oh, yeah, a lot of gray man goes into that one. That'll be that'll be that would be an excellent series, right? Yeah, yeah, I I definitely agree. Um, I I definitely agree. At, at least an episode um on it and in, in, in relation to Taz's. But then I I, I at, at some point and I mean we we've talked about this series mm -hmm. for. Uh, for you know, year I guess years now. It's been multiple years now. Uh, we've talked about the Volume and City series, but it's just it's such a hard one to do. Um, it's it. I, I don't know. It's a, it's it's a hard one to do. There's there's uh, <clears throat> and I don't know. It's 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 basically you just got to get creative. Um, and uh, we we we've, yeah. we've theorized about some some possibilities. Uh, and Rayo, Rayo mentioned some possibilities, but we'll we'll certainly uh, toss uh, toss some insight <laughs> into that uh, here at at this time during this uh, during the series. So um, the the next episode, maybe episode four or five, uh, the Taz is a tactic of disappearance, um, gone to Croatan. Um, episode five or six, whatever one it'll uh, turn out to be, um, we talked about it as as part of the Second Realm series, the importance of culture, um, the importance of uh, you know the culture of the Second Realm. Um, well, this comes up uh, in relation to Taz as well, um, and the uh, the the title of the I guess the section in Akimbe's book is music as an organizational principle. Um, so it's kind of the importance of culture is mm -hmm. um, kind of the the parallel thing. Um, to, to discuss in relation to Taz's. And then, uh, obviously, a conclusionary episode. And, um, I mean, there, there, there'll probably be an ep another episode or two in there, I'm sure. Um, as, uh, <laughs> um, cause I, I mean, I mean there, there, there's already been, uh, since, since I put this together probably a week or week and a half ago, there's already been a couple developments to it. So a couple pretty major developments. So, um, uh -huh. yeah, it's, it's, it's going to change, but, uh, that's, uh, at least the tentative episode series list, um, just to give you guys uh, a little bit, um, of an idea. So, uh, Jason, you got anything before I get uh, get on to uh, definitions here? Um, no, not really. I, th I have I have one point. It's a little quote from the book, but I'll I'll wait until the end. Okay. For that. Right on, right on. So, um, definitions here. So, uh, uh, so, uh, um, and this is actually the definition I used in my presentation uh, on second realms because Tass has come up uh, uh, in second realm book on strategy. Um, it's mentioned in there mm -hmm. as well. 
So um, definition, uh, liberated area of land, time, or imagination where one can be for something, not just against, and where new ways of being human together can be explored and experimented with. Locating itself in the cracks and fault lines in the global grid of control and alienation, a Taz is an eruption of free culture where life is experienced at maximum intensity. Um, and then uh, another another possible definition here from Wiki, uh, from Wikipedia, actually, uh, not terribly an accurate definition. A sociopolitical tactic of creating temporary spaces that elude formal structures of control. Um, so, not as flowerly 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 of language as the uh, as the first one, <laughs> but uh, the point uh, <laughs> the point is there. Uh, yeah, we're we're talking about creating uh, pockets of freedom uh, in uh, in the here and now. Um, that's yeah, his, uh, um, the general idea. Bay Bay has a bad habit of what I what I call wasting words. Yep. <laughs> like, he'll 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 use twenty words when you know ten will do. Um, makes it yeah. makes them a little hard to read, so you really have to like you really have to think about it. Not it, that can be a good thing, but he, yeah, he's hard to read. Right. Yeah, I I, I certainly agree. Certainly agree. So um, that's, uh, I guess, the, the, some, some, some definitions um, to, to, to get those out of the way. Um, now, the history of temporary autonomous zones. Now, I, I would say uh, the, the, the concept of temporary autonomous zones has arguably existed forever, um, but it was, uh, might mm -hmm. I say, uh, codified. Uh, it might, I, I guess my, a, a good word might be codified um, as a strategy by Akeem Bey uh, in his book, uh, Taz, the Temporary Autonomous Zone, Ontological Anarchy uh, and Poetic Terrorism. Mm -hmm. And now I don't recommend the book in its entirety because um, I saw I, I so the I, I saw that I saw Taz as a book. All right, it, it was available free online as an article, and I, I read some of it and I realized it was a book, so I went ahead and ordered it because I like paperback stuff. Um, clearly, I'm addicted to paperbacks. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so I so I ordered it and I I I, I read uh, um, I read the entire thing and. <clears throat> yeah, so, um, yeah, I don't recommend the book in its entirety, which is why I have a blood audio <laughs> and no. uh, the text of the Taz individually. But, yeah, Hakeem Bey, Peter Lamborn Wilson uh, was his given name, um, was, from what little I know, and I don't know a whole lot, um, he was a fucking nut job and advocated for um, for pedophilia a few times in that book um, mm -hmm. in some 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 yeah, some yeah weird ways. Um, not that there's a uh, not yeah. way to do it, but it was, it was, it was just – it was kind of out of nowhere, too. I didn't expect mm -hmm. to, to find that in there. Um yeah, it was... yeah. The uh, the the Wikipedia on Hakeem Bay, uh, Peter Lambone Wilson, uh, it goes into it a little bit more. And yeah, he's uh he's kind of sick. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And um, and I was I was looking at uh before because I, I I hadn't looked into the publisher at all. Um, but uh, Autonomy Media is the publisher. Um, it's based in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. Um, publishers of radical theoretical works, especially in the anarchist tradition. Um, but, uh, and this was, uh, this was, I guess the part where it didn't get surprising when you kind of look at the, the ilk that he is so he, that he was associated with. Um, but, uh, according to Akeem Bay, uh, semi toaks I don't know what that word means anyway, um, was founded in 1974 by, and this is Autonom Media, the publisher was, pu was founded in 1974 by Silver Lotfringer, a French scholar working for Columbia University, whose self-appointed task was to introduce the Paris of 68 philosophers to America. That would include Baudrillard, Lyotard, Foucault, uh, etc., and then somewhere in 1982, Autonom Media became the umbrella um, book company. So, um, yeah, publishes book on a variety of topics such as anarchism, autonomous, uh, mar ex parliamentary Marxism, whatever the hell that is, uh, cyber feminism, uh, psychedelics, and drug liter literature. Um, yeah, so I guess that's uh, a little more on the publisher, but yeah, um, fuck Akeem Bay. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, this is what when you, when you bring up the subject of Taz's, like, that's like, that's, that's unfortunately, like, that's the one, like, that people know, you know, um, that's kind of the, the one that's, that, that uh -huh. people can point to. It's like, that's, that's the codified article, I guess you could say. Um, so, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to talk, it's kind of hard to talk about that at least without at least mentioning it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't mention it, then people accuse you of hiding something. So you, mm -hmm. you have to mention it and get ahead of it. And I mean, as, as we talk about with, like with, with Marx and, and, uh, Hans Hermann Hoppe and, and all these other people, like you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater because they can be right on occasion, even if they're wrong, the majority. So, right. Yeah. A broken yeah. shit clock can be right twice a day. Yes. Um, 
Yeah. So, <clears throat> and I mean, the, the way that I look at it, honestly, is um, kind of the same way that um, like uh, utilizing the uh, the OSS manual as a, as a way, as like a, a possible way to uh, adapt, you know, strategies and tactics for anarchists. Well, I kind of <laughs> see this as the same way, as the same thing. Like these are, you know, like yes. uh, these are, um, you know, um, nut job leftist anarchists. Um, you know the the mm -hmm. European kinds that the the proprietarian variety don't like on don't like anyway, right? Um, <laughs> um, on on a lot of uh, on a lot of fronts. But yeah, these are just your these are just these, yeah. these nut job leftist anarchists. Yeah. Um, I, and and some I, and of the, I, 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 there's, some, there's some valuables. There's I mean as far as strategy and tactics, I mean there's there's a couple valuable things um, at least to pull out of. Um, pull out of that article by Akeem Bay, and that's unfortunate. That yeah. I, you know I wish just you know fuck him. Um, and just, just, you know, move on without it. But there's an important thing or two that we, that we kind of mm. have to talk about, unfortunately. Yeah. I was just going to say that some of those, uh, weirdo leftist European anarchists, they helped fund Cody Wilson with the liberator pistol. So kind of, kind of sure. gotta be like, all right, cool. And then like, I don't agree with you, but all right, cool. Well, right. So, um, let me see here. Um, uh, so yeah, there's, so yeah, we covered some background information on him. Now there's some interesting inform some interesting background information here on, uh, temporary autonomous zones. So, um, let's see here. Um, so use in music. Um, the 1992 album Transmutation, Mutatis Mutandis by Praxis features quotes from Taz and its liner notes. Um, so yeah, the, I guess there's a couple of obscure... Music pieces of music. I'm not going to read all this because this is a lot of this stuff so obscure. Um, but yeah, I, I, there's been at least uh, I guess a couple. It's, it's been used uh, in music a couple few times. Um, and then implementations. The concept concept of Taz was put into practice on a large scale by the Cacophony Society, in which they call trips to the zone or zone trips. Their co-founder John Law also co-founded co Black Rock City, now called the Burning Man Festival. So. Uh, yeah, an interesting little uh, um, tidbit of information there. Um, and I guess, yeah, a little background on Cacophony Society. A uh, randomly gathered network of free spirits united in the, uh, in the pursuit of experiences beyond the pale of mainstream society. Uh, started in 1986 by surviving members of the now-defunct Suicide Club of San Francisco. Um, cacophony has been described as an indirect, indirect culture jamming outgrowth of the Dada movement in the situa situationists. Uh, one of its central concepts is trip to the zone or zone trip inspired the 19, uh, 1979 film Stalker by Andrei Tarkovsky. Let me see if there's anything else. Anarchic nature of society means that membership is left open-ended and anyone may sponsor an event, etc. So if there's a lot, I'll, I'll drop a link to the Wikipedia, which I'm looking at here uh, in the show notes, but... Um, so, so yes, as far as, um, as, as far as some of this literature, I guess what, what little is out there, cause there's not a whole lot on temper autonomous zones. Um, it kind of stems from this, uh, sort of, uh, kind of, yeah, leftist anarchist variety. Um, and there's, uh, I guess one other one too, and I'll go ahead and, uh, pull this up on screen, um, for the viewers on fascist tube. Um, but yeah, there's the Cacophony Society's website, <laughs> uh, Billboard Liberation Front at Stephen Wolf Fine Art. Um, so there's some, I guess, um, a billboard contest. Uh, like I, I guess they, um, <laughs> it's 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 comical. Yeah, you should you should go pop that up, cacophony.org. Um, so I guess they uh, um, there were billboards and anarchists, you know, via direct action went and like uh, I guess changed the changed the billboards. So like for the AT and T one. Um, the billboard says AT&T works in more places like someone, I guess, went and like, I guess, spray painted NSA headquarters on there. Um, so, <laughs> <clears throat> so that's, nice. that's on the front page of the cacophony.org site was, was, I guess that billboard campaign. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, interesting stuff for sure. Uh, then there was also, um, what this was just something in the footnotes, something called temporary autonomous art, uh, exhibitions. Um, and the last one was held in September of 2019 over in, uh, I'd say Europe, if I, uh, yeah, or actually no, London. I'm sorry, it's right there, on, right there in front of me. Um, so yeah, it's uh, in London. So certainly over from across the pond. Um, so yes, some interesting stuff for sure. Um, <laughs> I just 
I just found a free copy of the book. Digital format. Of uh, Taz? TheAnarchistLibrary.org. Yep. Of Taz, yeah. Mm-hmm. TheAnarchistLibrary.org has the entire book. Yep. Yep, indeed. Indeed. But again, I don't recommend the entire book. Oh. Just the just the chapter on Taz's. Uh, so that's just, the only sure, the only yeah. the only part that's the only part yeah. that's applicable to anything. Um is uh yeah, is that uh that chapter. That chapter. So um that's uh, I guess a little background on Taz's and Hakeem Bay and mm -hmm. uh I'll I guess I'll just uh, uh kinda we'll kinda leave it here um with uh, a couple of extras. I got a couple I'll mention and then uh, Jason's got one as well. But uh, um, obviously, the, the the topic of why temporary autonomous zones are necessary, uh, and in volume terms, um, if, uh, if if you remember back to, uh, I mean, we've 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 uh, when we've covered uh, covered Rayo's work, uh, the topic of Taz's, I mean, these would be uh, you know your uh, your volume mini cultures. Um, I mean, he talked about similar concepts, just not by um, you know not using the name temporary autonomous zones because that wasn't codified. I guess that wasn't uh, even a real term until Hakeem Bey's book in 1990s or whatever. So. Um, so yeah, Rayo talked about uh, about these ideas similarly. So we're just gonna kind of uh, talk about the strategy and uh, the strategy, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, go go a lot more in depth on it, and uh, really kind of uh, give you some 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 guidance on on how to uh, set up these pockets of freedom um, in the here and now. And uh, but yeah, not a 19 episode, year and a half long series. We're not gonna do that again. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Taz, Taz is a Taz is a simple concept, you guys. It, it, yep. <laughs> it's it's a lot easier. Yep. There's uh yeah, it's basically just co covering a handful of concepts, introduction, conclusion, and and we we should be we should be home. Um, we should be home free. Um, so yeah, the uh, um, so why they're necessary. I guess just a couple of uh, applicable quotes here. Um, are we who live in the present doomed never to experience autonomy, never to stand for one moment on a bit of land ruled only by freedom? Are we reduced either to nostalgia for the past or nostalgia for the future? Must we wait until the entire world is free to political control before even one of us can claim to know freedom? Logic and, uh, logic and emotion unite to condemn such a supposition. Reason demands that one cannot struggle for what one does not know, and the heart revolts at a universe so cruel as to visit such un injustices on our generation alone of humankind. To say that I will not be free till all humans or all sentient creatures are free is simply to cave into a kind of nirvana stupor, to abdicate our humanity, to define ourselves as losers. Um, I guess that's, that's good enough. End quote. So um, that's kind of the that's 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 kind of the mantra of Anu. Is but yeah yeah it's it's uh, <clears throat> the idea that freedom is uh, you know enough talking about a hypothetical future, a hypothetical free society. What about uh, you know finding freedom in the here and now? Um, so I, I I just thought that was uh, you know very 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 similar to Banu. Mm -hmm. Um and uh that's uh yeah why they're uh, why they're necessary I guess is if if, if we if we're going to have freedom in the here and now uh, this is uh and if we're if we're going to have freedom in the here and now we want to do it uh I guess together in some way um you know with with other people um this is uh kind of the the best way to do it um or at least uh, at least one possible way to do it uh, to put it that way. So Jason now uh, what do you have? Oh abs absolutely uh just to to piggyback on what you just said uh, as we talked about with Vanu, um, no man is an island, right? You 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 have to. I mean, no man is an island. Number one, and then number two, uh, humans by nature are they 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 have to interact with other people. So a Taz is a great way to do it. So yeah, but uh, uh the, the the quote it's a, it's a one sentence quote and it says uh, Taz is a microcosm of that anarchist dream of a free culture. That's from from the, the section of the book and the free culture. That's not what I really wanted to focus on. Um, and I, I know you have it listed as like an entire, entire episode, but sure. Um, of a free culture. We talked about cult. We talked about culture before we talked about like uh, uh, the, the Taz, the Taz is, 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 is a meeting place of like-minded people. It's, it's a place that you could be free from, from outside coercion, from coercion of the state or, or, or bludgies or, or whoever else. Uh, we talked about – you did a, a speech on it, uh, the, the Building the Second Realm at, mm -hmm. at Midwest, Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. Uh, yeah. That was a Taz, right? You know, mm -hmm. all these, these – a lot of these Bitcoin conventions, a lot of these freedom festivals, those are Tazes, right? They, they, we, we have these things now. They exist. Um. And that's what right. it is. It's it's the anarchist dream of a free culture. That's that's where you go. That you can actually, for the most part, be yourself, and you can let down 
your guard a little bit and, and you don't have to worry about the servile society as much. Right. So yeah, that's why we need Taz's. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I'll, I'll just add in real quick, um, that's, uh, and this is also very much in the, in the spirit of the second realm and that's, uh, you know, digital is great, but physicals, I mean, we, we, we need these things in, in, in physical space and time, uh, mm-hmm. physical space and time as well. Um, and if you like, uh, if, if you've been to a freedom festival, I mean, I mean, like, uh, I guess I'll, I'll back up, um, like the, the online, like, you know, the online community is great. Like the online anarchist community, that's, that's, that's fantastic. But, um, you know, it's, it's hard to, especially like if it's, if it's purely an online thing, it's hard to actually envision what's, what, what even, what, what could freedom even look like? You know, um, cause it's, uh, it's not what you see when you go into, uh, you know, in, you know, into town or something, right? That's not really how, how anarchists would, would view freedom. Um, so, uh, yeah, when you talk about freedom festivals and kind of that free culture, um, being able to experience it, well, you, the only way to experience it, um, is to, to, to do it kind of, uh, um, underground because freedom's, freedom's outlawed guys. Um, <laughs> freedom's outlawed. Um, <laughs> unless unless you unless you have your permits um then yeah freedom's outlawed yeah so. no even even that's not freedom that's permission right well fair enough yeah yeah i guess the yeah. Yeah, right yeah free, free, freedom is freedom is unconstitutional right right so but um piggybacking on that again just i'm a lot of piggybacking here uh go read hashtag agora go go buy that off amazon from shane and that has some really fantastic examples of of Taz's, both digitally and physically. Um, and if you read that, and you you'll really start to understand the importance for things like Taz's and crypto anarchism and anonymity and and as a whole, Vanu. Right, right, yeah, and and I, and I think when we. <laughs> and I, and I, th- I think when we when we talk about the uh, the, the transport between Taz's episode, I, I think the topic of mobil- mobility is just going to come up in general because um, if you have a uh, a mobile lifestyle, basically anywhere you are is a temporary autonomous zone. Because um, if uh, if you're if you're uh, and I've said it a million times, and I'll probably say it another million times, you know, as long as, as long as this podcast continues, and it will. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, if the coercers can't find you, they can't coerce you. So um, if you're uh, if you're at a location where you're uh, where you're um, particularly invulnerable to coercion, um, then um, and and uh, you've you've got freedom, the ability to to act, um, you know, um, to to do what you want to, um, obviously without violating the pers- person and property of anyone else. Um, then great, you know, like if you're at a Taz, you're at a second realm, and, and you're living mm-hmm. you're living in freedom. So um, that's uh, that's the idea. Yes. Okay. So I don't have anything else. Um, like I, uh, like I, I, like I told you, Jason. Uh, it's going to be a, a shorter, I guess, first introductory episode. But mm-hmm. just wanted to get that uh, that <clears throat> yeah initial stuff out of the way. And uh, yeah, because I already had that one with that uh, that episode with John. So Jason, any closing thoughts, man? Nope, I'm good. All right. Right on, right on. So uh, that's all we have for you. Uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, uh, in the next episode, you'll hear my discussion with John Vibes, tentatively titled uh, "The Rave Is a Tess." Uh, we recorded it back in August. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's a little little uh, it's it's a timeless that's a timeless episode. Um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, certainly a few months old. Uh, sure, I, yeah, I know you're gonna dig it. Uh, but yeah, please check out Liberty Anarchy Publications for all your self-liberation needs. We've got a dozen or so books available right now. And uh, if you're a fan of this podcast, uh, you'll love what we have to offer over there. Uh, that link is libertyunderattack.com and take 10% off your order by using coupon code uh, self-liberate. Again, that coupon code uh, is self-liberate. Uh, we also offer assistance to authors through every step of the publishing process, uh, proofreading, editing, uh, paperback, candle formatting, marketing, promotion, and everything else publishing related. Just visit libertyunderattack.com forward slash publish for more information or to schedule a free strategy call. LUA Publications, share your story, find your freedom. Uh, but yeah, if you'd rather just support the Vani podcast with a one-time donation, we'd certainly appreciate that too. Um, I've got uh, accounts on Bitbacker, uh, bitbacker.io forward slash user forward slash Vani podcast and subscribe star, subscribe star.com slash Vani. I just create accounts there for the hell of it. 
Um, <laughs> no one's on there. I mean, just 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 because put it, I put them in the description. You want you want to hop on there? Great. Uh, but I'd much rather you just buy a book on, on Amazon or something, or or rather buy a book from the website. Um, much rather uh, uh, prefer that, and you can get something uh, get something of value in return, uh, physical and value. Um, but yeah, also uh, one-time Bitcoin and PayPal donations are uh, are fine too. Uh, just visit uh, visit vonnypodcast dot com um, for uh, for ways uh, other ways to donate. So um, thanks, Jason. I know it was a, a shorter uh, <laughs> shorter episode, hey, but uh, nothing that's wrong fine. With that. That's fine with me. I got things to do today. Perfect, perfect. So um, <laughs> yeah, next week episode with John, and then uh, Jason and I will be back. Um, Probably uh, the next the, the next episode after that uh, will probably be yeah building and maintaining the TAS um, and maybe digital TAS as well. So to give you something to look forward to. Um, thanks, Jason, and uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, until next time.